<sighs> you know you need better sleep. You know you want more sleep. But how? Watch today's live to learn the do's and don'ts of great sleep. Hit it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to a fresh new episode of the Fitness Avengers, where we fight fat, frustration, and fitness fakes. I'm your host, NASM Master Trainer, Tony Ariola from TotalBodyProject.com, and I'm on a personal mission to simplify fitness for you. So welcome. Special night, guys. It's election night. It's, cra it's crazy out there. It's pandemonium. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Diana. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, let's take a break from the election stuff, and Whoever wins, let's just not let's not burn down the city, guys. Let's <laughs> let's be rational. Let's wear masks and let's take care of each other's. Um, it's gonna be a long night. Um, depending on where you're at, hopefully, we're, like I said, we're all safe. But thanks for taking the time out to jump on my show, and uh, let's let's rock and roll. Let's, let's learn about some sleep. Let me get let me get rid of this election stuff. <laughs> Freaks me out. Sleep. Sleep is by far the number one thing when it comes to your health and fitness. I had one of my clients named Eric who came to me and for a long time, he's kind of swore that he didn't need that many hours of sleep and he could function on four hours of sleep and four hours of sleep. The problem was that he wasn't functioning. He was always kind of like in a haze. And the best way I can explain it is if you live in the fog, and you have ne never seen like clear skies, you you're not going to know what it's like to not be in the fog. So Eric was always in the fog. And once we got him out, like once he got one good night of sleep, oh man, he felt like, like a million bucks. And now I've, I've been a trainer now for almost 18 years or a little bit over 18 years. And that's the number one thing that I talk to people about is how do you get that sleep down? Because sleep affects your weight, affects your mood, affects your temperament. Uh, obviously your weight, all these different things all come down to sleep. So today we're going to talk about how exactly do we get more sleep. So if you're jumping on, say hello. Hi, Diana. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Courtney. Courtney's taking a break from her uh, election watching. She's going to keep me informed. We got flags for, for both teams. <laughs> so we're going to talk about why sleep matters, 10 sleep, the do's and don'ts of great sleep. And honestly, guys, if you guys have trouble sleeping, um, I know uh, actually with a couple of my clients that we've discussed like different strategies for sleeping, go ahead and pop them in the comments because I'm sure if you're experiencing trouble with sleep, uh, like, like most people, then we can kind of like, like um, diagnose and try to figure out some solutions uh, to help with the sleep because everybody's solution is going to be unique. So I'm going to give you some best practices of things I have worked with myself, my clients, and I have continued to show results over the years. And I'm going to give you some more data from some more recent data on how sleep really affects everything. We're going to have a, our asset trainer. What if I have trouble sleeping? So we'll get into that. Client spotlight. And just uh, make, sure, make sure you say hi. Courtney's got the, her eye on the election. So she'll let us know. She'll run in here if something big happens. So thanks, Court. And Kona is on there as well. The first thing you want to ask yourself is, where are you on this sleep spectrum? All right. The average sleep cycle is about 90 minutes. So you're looking at, you know, they're talking about like the perfect sleep cycle. And that's the average would be about seven and a half hours per night. Are you sleeping consistently seven and a half hours a night? Or is there some nights where you're getting five, some nights that you're getting six, uh, some nights e even less than that? Um, or are you getting ample sleep? For the most part, most Americans, uh, actually most people in the world are not getting enough sleep. So once you know where you're at on the spectrum, then you really want to find out like how are you going to attack this problem? And this is a problem that that really needs to be solved. And the reason I say it's it's so important because literally your brain really depends on the sleep. We're going to talk about NREM and REM sleep later on, but really your cognitive ability, uh, your memory, uh, recall, now they're linking sleep deprivation to Alzheimer's, to onsets of dementia, things that are, are preventable. The data is showing that if we started back 20 years before, like getting the right amount of sleep, it has just dramatic effects on the brain, longevity, health, immunity, and mood. So I want you to think about where you're at, and we're going to talk about some a lot of different tips of things that you can employ to help you move in the right direction. Now, I have uh, some clients that swear to me that they don't need sleep. 
they actually say to me, hey, team, I don't need sleep. And then I just say, liar, lies. Those are lies. Everybody, everybody, I don't care who you are, needs the adequate amount of sleep. And I'm not afraid to call my clients liars because if you're lying that you don't need sleep, then this is just a blatant lie. If you have trouble sleeping, that's a different ballgame. But the fact that you think that you can operate at a high level with low sleep, those things don't even match up. Anything less than five hours, you're basically operating with a 0.1 blood alcohol level. You know, there's studies where they have sleep deprived people and they have drunk people and the drunk people outperform the sleep deprived people. And I know this because when Kona, when we got Kona, <laughs> I think, you know, I, my second episode on this fitness Avengers was, uh, with Kona, we just had a her, and we were having such a trouble, such trouble sleeping and getting through the night and she was barking and we wanted to give her up and be terrible parents. And those nights were awful. It was so hard for the next day to be in a good mood to, you know, you figure like your, uh, your temperament, you're, you're a lot less, a lot less patient, you know, you're on edge, uh, you're irritable. All these things just happen from not getting the right amount of sleep. And now what they're finding is that in these cycles of NREM and REM sleep is that your brain is actually cleaning itself out. So your brain doesn't have like, it doesn't, it's not connected to like your vascular system. So you can't get like blood and oxygen. Uh, directly in there. So what hap what has to happen for your brain to clean itself, right? To go through these kind of laundry cycles is that you have to be completely shut down, which means that your body has to be completely at rest. So these toxins kind of build up, build up, kind of think of it like your body. These toxins build up, build up, build up. And at night when you go to REM sleep and then REM sleep, then your body can get rid of these toxins so that you get rid of all those toxins and your brain can flush out and be clean, be clearing for tox. That's how you get those these things called brain fog when you're not getting the right amount of sleep things are kind of like hazy and your memory is impaired and your immune system sucks and you're angry and you're a grouchy smurf and it's just bad so if somebody tells you that they don't need sleep then just tell them straight up hey you're you're lying they're lying <laughs> they probably look older than they actually are too so so let's talk about what poor sleep does and this is a an image from the power of wind by dr michael bruce so this is what some of the things that can happen from poor sleep or bad sleep, high blood pressure, heart disease, decreased immune function, diabetes, stroke, increased pain, accelerated cancer growth, sexual dysfunction, weight gain, low reaction time, increased stress, stress, poor decision making, poor marital satisfaction, lower testosterone. Damn, all those things from just not sleeping. <laughs> That kind of sucks. It makes you want to go to bed right now <laughs> because all these things, the girl, she looks all stressed out. These things, these things happen when you don't take care of the sleep. So let's jump into, um, thank you, uh, Dr. Michael Bruce. And I got a, I got a cool video by, by one of our favorite actresses. Ah, uh, a wonderful night's sleep. Such a wonderful feeling to rest and wake up ready to conquer the world. But how do we get that much needed REM and NREM sleep? Let's learn the do's and don'ts of great sleep. Follow these sleep do's for a great sleep or just lie awake all night. <laughs> a great night's sleep begins by going to bed at the right time. Don't stay up past your bedtime. When it's time to go to bed, go to bed. Do wash up at least 30 minutes before bedtime. Why 30 minutes? Because water wakes you up. Hello. Do not play sleep with the TV on. Do turn off the TV. Your mind will rest way better. Don't look at any light, screens, or LEDs. Don't check your phone. Your brain mistakes any light for sunlight and wakes you up. Do turn off all the lights, dim all the screens, and silence your phone. Ah, it's time for sleepy night night. Don't move. Do not toss and turn. Do not look for the perfect position. Don't think about all the things you need to do tomorrow. That's not going to help. Don't worry about not falling asleep instantly. Don't stare at the clock and perform sleep math. 
I said, don't move. <coughs> Two, lay perfectly still. Enjoy your precious relaxation time. The only time when you're dead to the world. Ah. <sighs> Follow these tips for a great night's sleep. And if you don't get them right away, don't worry. We have your whole life to figure it out. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I thought I had the lovely taunts of corny in there, but th that one was just me. And in the video, you saw a lot of do's and don'ts of, of great sleep. And I want you to think about all those different things and how can you employ them. Uh, some of the smartphones are actually are getting better with the blue light. So if you're using your smartphone at night, there's I might I know my, my pixels just started doing like a gray scale to cut off some of the blue light, especially as you get ready to, to ready to head to bed. So Nicole has a, has, she has a question about um, how long how long does it take your body to adjust to a new sleeping schedule? Sometimes I would have a good a good night's sleep. I feel I'm more tired the next day. Does it take a while for the mo proper amount of sleep to register with your mind? Um, this is a really good question. It actually brings me up to my next my next point, which is a circadian rhythm. And what this basically means is that your body gets used to uh, waking up and going to sleep and waking up at the same time. Usually it's more kind of followed by like the sun. Um, but now with, you know, us working different hours, it's, it, we're not in our, you know, our millions of years of evolution. Now we have, we get up earlier or we stay up later and we have, we have, you know, manufactured light. So what the circadian rhythm is, is when your body feels, feels the best, you know, like during the, during the day, as you go through the day, the day you start developing like a sleep appetite. And basically, you know, you get, you start using your energy, you start your body is kind of wearing down, it's getting ready to go to bed. Um, at that time, once you start getting tired, you start getting ready, then you want to start going to going to bed on the same time. So going to bed at the same time and waking up at the same time really helps level your body out. And I know it's hard, especially on weekends, weekends, you know, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, People tend to stay up later or wake wake up later, and their their rhythm gets all thrown off. And the problem is that that's why a lot of people they they call it actually a sleep hangover. On Monday morning, people have a hard time because their rhythm is all is all off. They're going to sleep, you know, like maybe three or four hours later, and then waking up, you know, maybe three or four hours later. So their time cycle is all off. So, and Nikoda, to answer your question, it does it does it is going to take a little while. To get that rhythm back like you know we had daylight savings time and or daylight forward time or whatever time may be and that's always the hardest time for everybody to get back in the rhythm because you don't feel tired uh things like that my my biggest piece of advice for for that type of time is make sure you change all your clocks right away change them all right away so that your body doesn't you know you don't fool your brain and think like oh it's going to be at this time and then try to get close to the same to that same bedtime that you usually have you know have a set like a set Bedtime and a set wake up time. I know we're all adults and you know we don't want people telling us when and when to go to sleep, but don't think of it like that. Think about think about sleep as I get to go to sleep. You get to go to sleep, you get to have a restful, restorative sleep and feel so much better in the morning. You really, when you stay up at night and you you do things, you're really compromising them the next day. And this this thing about life, we don't know how many extra days we get. You know, we don't get any extra days. We only have a set amount of days and you don't want to waste one because you're up watching Netflix or watching whatever sports game or whatever was on that night. That's going to happen no matter what. But what's not going to happen is you're not going to have a good day the next day. You're going to waste a day if you don't get the right amount of sleep. So it's that important where you really want to dedicate yourself, get like different things to help you kind of figure this stuff out so that you can get that beautiful wrestle peaceful sleep and feel the difference. You're just going to feel so much better. The next thing is you, just like when you in sports or like in anything in life, you really want to have these performance tools. So blackout curtains, make sure the environment is really dark. Um, um, I use a face mask, earplugs. You can use scents. Lavender also shows to like help you sleep. Supplementation, uh, magnesium. Magnesium has a really good effect on helping you sleep. So does a melatonin. You can couple those two. That'll help the right the right pillows. Make sure that you have the right bed. That things are are comfortable. Um, all these different sleep aids will really make that 
sleep time more like a ritual. So the way I like to think about sleep is like, it's just this like this incredible, like magic ride that I get to go on. And when I go, my brain gets better, my body heals, my immune system boosts up, I get more uh, restorative, re regenerative sleep so that my, my cells heal. So I look younger, so I feel better. And the next day I'll perform a lot better. And so all those things, like, why wouldn't you want more of that? So you can feel like a million bucks the next day. And so no matter what show is going on, that show, one hour show you're staying up later watching, doing, you know, whatever, you're really going to sack, you're going to really hurt yourself on, on the back end. And the problem with skipping, you know, it may not seem immediate, like, oh, okay, maybe you, you miss one sleep cycle a night, but you do that every night, you know, that's 365. And that's in 10 years, that's, you know, 3,000. In 20 years, you're around 7,000. So you're missing all these sleep cycles, all these different chances for your brain to heal and your body to heal and for your immunity to heal. And not only that, but what about all those days that you just feel like, eh? Like, you know, that's why everyone was getting sick during finals at, at school. Right after finals would happen, people would just get dropped down and be super sick because your immune system is compromised when you're not getting the adequate amount of sleep. So think about all these different things that, that you can employ and start working with them. We also have like, I'm like super into sleep. So we also have like a sound machine as well that makes like the ocean sound because that's soothing. And that's something that we associate with great sleep. Um, going When you go to the restroom sometimes at night, if you turn on the light, it wakes you up. You don't really want to look at night at at the at the at something bright during nighttime, especially if you're just like gonna go to the restroom. Because that stuff will wake you up. And there's night lights, but we found uh, it was on Shark Tank. They found those those um, sensor sensory uh, motion sensor activated uh, bowls. So the toilet bowl actually glows like a soft glow when you walk in, which is great because that stuff won't wake you up. That's like. It, it's been fantastic. We we love that. Any different types of deals that we put in to help us sleep better, I'm all for it. It's just that anything that can help you exercise more, I'm all for it. Help you sleep for better, I'm all for it. Help you drink more water, I'm all for it. Help you sleep better, I'm all for it. Try all these different things out and see which one works for you because ultimately you're the expert of your life. And like I said in the video, you have your whole life to figure it out. And sleep is something so crucial and so fundamental to, to being a fully functioning human that you need to take the time to really troubleshoot and tackle these things and make sure that you're, you're getting, you're doing everything to get you there. Things that keep you up, um, alcohol, caffeine. Uh, so you want to kind of avoid that stuff towards uh, towards bedtime. That stuff doesn't help you sleep. If you have too much alcohol, it'll help you knock out. But passing out is not the same as getting a good night's sleep. So it's, think about those things. Uh, emoji party yeah if you're watching live thanks thanks for jumping on hit those likes hit, hit those hearts i don't know if we have any little flags or anything dun, 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 dun. <laughs> but <laughs> just make sure you guys <laughs> jump on uh, uh some sleep tips so so let's say you're you know you're kind of stuck at night and you know you're thinking about like how i can like stay asleep longer well, the first thing is that exercise will help you sleep longer. There's a lot of studies that show that that continuous exercise, um, keeping exercise in in your life will help you sleep better, and that's why you so you can get some of that energy out and sleep a lot a lot better. I already talked about avoiding caffeine. Caffeine raises your heart rate heart rate about six beats per minute. So if you're taking caffeine too close to bedtime, like uh, you know 3 p.m., 2 p.m., um, it's gonna linger in your system for about six hours. So, and also people are like, well, I can drink caffeine and knock out, which is, which was great, but they're wrong, right? You're not, if your heart rate is six beats higher, you're not getting restful sleep. And the whole thing is that you want restful sleep. They talk about NREM, the really deep stages of sleep, because that's the sleep that's most important. A way to help you sleep um, at night is, is um, you want to be, have, show some gratitude in the begin at the end of the night. You know, just kind of think about the things that you're really grateful for, your family, your loved ones, you know, your fiance, your your puppy, having a, a home, you know, that, you know, the, the city not burning down. All these things that, that that you're grateful for will really have a soothing effect on you and help you go, go back to sleep. What you want to avoid is you have two sides of the brain. You want to avoid the analytical side. This is the, 
what do I have to do tomorrow? You know, I got to get my TPS report out. I got to email that person, you know, my, my boss that, that is getting to get on my nerves or whatever it may be. You want to get, don't think in the analytical side. You want to think in the kind of like fantastic and nonsensical side, because that's going to help you fall asleep a lot quicker. So one way is to like, remember your dreams. If you dream and you wake up, you know, try to, try to jump back in that dream because jumping back in that dream it's nonsensical. It won't make sense, but it'll help you relax. You don't want to go start processing what a lot of people, you know, because I ask my clients, one of the first things is how'd you sleep? And I already know what kind of session we're going to have based on the sleep that they had. And it, when they don't sleep well, and I said, well, how many hours did you get? They're like, well, I, I think I got like seven or six and a half. And I was like, how did you, how do you know that? Well, I looked at the clock. Okay. So you were doing sleep math and I don't know about you guys, but looking at the clock has never helped me fall asleep faster. I've never been like, oh, wow, now I'm going to get three hours of sleep. Oh, now I'm only going to get two hours and 45 minutes. Now I'm going to get two hours and 30 minutes. Sleep math does not help you fall asleep faster. So I would encourage you guys, if you guys are having trouble sleeping, not to take out your phones and stare at them, not to look at the watch and figure out how many hours of sleep you got left. Don't do any of that stuff. Just lay there and enjoy the fact that no one needs anything from you. In today's world, everyone always needs something from us. And when you're asleep, you know, you just relax. No one needs anything from you. You can just literally just lay there quietly and just enjoy peace and quiet. Doreen's jumping out. We've Doreen and I have talked a lot about a lot about sleep. Um, so here's a question: Can I leave the TV on? Actually, before my answer would have been. Absolutely not, because it keeps you up. Now, the latest research is showing that you can't have the TV on if you're not watching TV. So what does that mean? If you have the TV on and you're listening to it because you're just have it on is background noise and it, you're not really processing and it's just like soothing for you, then you can't have the TV on. You just want to make sure that it's on a timer. Set the timer so that it's not on the whole night because then you're going to find yourself dreaming about the TV or whatever. But if it soothes you and your partner's okay with it, then you can have the TV on. I have couples that the TV wakes up one person and the other person sleeps fine, which is great if you want to end up uh, divorced. But if you guys both want to be on the same page and you have to agree that, you know, either leave it on or not leave it on or put the timer on and, you know, come to some sort of agreement that's mutually beneficial for you guys. <clears throat> Let me, oh, we got Anna, my client spotlight. So here's Anna. And Anna's an incredible success story. You know, uh, when, she, when it's interesting, when Anna started training, you know, she had, she had knee pain, she had, um, you, know, you know, overweight and, you know, kind of susceptible to a lot of injuries. didn't really have a lot of mobility. And one of the first things I asked her was, you know, how's the sleep? Which is, oh, I can't sleep. It's really, it's really restless and it's really, it's really bad. And the problem with that is that I know that because, you know, because we're not getting good sleep, right? We le it leads to the one right there, which is poor decision making. So how how able are you going to be to work out, to eat right, to drink water, to get your steps in, to do your stretches? If you're making poor decisions because you're tired, not very likely. Now, if you're in a good mood, you feel like your brain got rest. You got you, you know your brain. You get a certain amount of brain cycles per day. Now you're all f fully locked and loaded with brain cycles all the way up here. You got willpower. You got you got you got a chance to do something great that day, but with poor sleep, none of that happens. So one of the first things we did with Anna was get her to sleep a lot better. And you know, I was asking her uh, this week. I was like, "Hey, I'm going to talk about your success story." She's like, "Oh my god, I forgot that I didn't sleep well." So she she sleeps so well now that she forgot that she even had problems. And that's what I really want for all my clients is for everybody to be happy and healthy. And that only starts by getting a good night's sleep. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know it's uh, election night. It's uh, crazy out there. Um, if you're watching and just hashtag Mighty Muscle, if you haven't joined our, our uh, Fitness Avengers group, uh, we're sharing, I'm sharing a lot more content in there, trying to get everybody ready to finish off this year strong. We've got two months left in this, in the, <laughs> in the worst year in, I don't know how long, a pandemic, 100 years, something like that. <laughs> So it's been a, a really tumultuous year and you know my my job is to help guide you and set you up i know a lot of people put on some weight and uh, now we're going into the 
into the mental mental illness time of the year, which is there's a lot of depression out there, especially with COVID and not being able to get, get out, see our loved ones, you know, things are just a lot different. So for me, I look at it as it's my time to give you even more, to be there for my clients, to know that you can de depend on me, that you can count on me to be that beacon of hope, to help guide you. And I promise to always lead from the front, meaning I'll be getting my sleep, getting my exercise and making sure that I help you guys in any way I can. So if you're not on our fitness Avenger group, jump on, make sure you jump on and that you don't miss out. Please like and share. If you're having, if you have friends that are not sleeping right, tag them, tag them in the video. Maybe that's why they're so, so cranky. <laughs> we want these guys, we want everybody to be happy and not so annoying, especially, especially now with this election going on. We want tomorrow, I want everyone to just be happy, hug and, you know, live, live, live life. So like, comment, share, please. Uh, tune in next week. Next week, you're like, oh, my little thing says, I don't like how that looks. Let's see. Why does it say that? <laughs> I'll see you on the skinny side. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Get out of there. All right. There you go. <clears throat> tune in next week. Next week, I'm going to share with you the 50 hidden benefits of exercise, which is crazy. I don't know that there was 50, but there turns out there's over 50 hidden benefits to exercise. So if you don't feel sometimes not motivated to work out, you know, like I sometimes do, tune in next week. I'm going to share with you so many reasons to work out. You're going to be like, yeah, this is <laughs> this is awesome. So thank you guys again for, for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. Again, it's a crazy time. Uh, pandemic, fires, you know, like it's just um, elections, you know, polarized nation. Things are things are tough, guys. Now we're going to the holiday season. So please, please, please take care of yourself. Take care of your health. Take care of your brain. Take care of your attitude. Uh, take care of your mental health. Um, and invest in yourself. Know that you you value that you value. Your life is important. And, and take the time for yourself. No matter what happens, if you invest in yourself, you're going to be just so much better off to deal with all these things that are happening, all this chaos in the world. So... My name is Tony Ariola, NASM Master Trainer, and my purpose in life is to share my passion, which is health and happiness with you. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Go watch the election. Cross your fingers. Don't burn the nation down, guys. <laughs> and I'll see you on the skinny side. Hit the music. Dun, 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 dun. I make my own music now. Dun, 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 dun.